Hi everyone and welcome to part four of my observatory build. So in this video I shall be fitting the door to the observatory and completing the roof, finishing the walls off at the end there uh, to make the building watertight and then hopefully getting the motor fitted which will automate the roof. So there's lots to do and I better get on with it. So the idea of this Solitex insulation is to try and keep it cool in the summer and warmer in the winter and try and maintain a sort of even temperature. Uh, I may have to put a little bar heater in during the winter and possibly install a fan for the summer. We'll have to wait and see how that one goes. But if I get this insulation in, then it's a good start. So this is the metal plate to hold my motor in place. And on the back of that is these welded nuts. So I've just recessed some holes in there. That's where the heads of the bolts will go. So the plate will sit nice and flush against that wall. So my door for the observatory has arrived and I also have the motor. That's the door fitted, and I can now finish boarding this wall with the hard planks. Hi everyone, there is a storm brewing and the wind's getting up and it's due to rain heavy in two or three hours time so I'm battening down the hatches and I'm going to be working inside the observatory. Right now I want to fit the motor on this plate up here and try and get the tooth track in position so I can do that all from the inside, hopefully in the dry. Um, so let's see how that one goes. Bit of a 
adjustment on there, that's great. So that's on, just gonna tighten the nuts up. So I'm using 18 mil OSB on the top of the rafters. I've got 11 mil underneath and 50 mil of Solitech sandwiched in between. So there'll be a two layer felt system go on top of the 18 mil OSB. fascia boards and barge boards and then they'll be ready for the felt to go on. So I'm here in the observatory, half built as you can see. So this is the target I'm going for. I'm on Stellarium here and you can see the target is 7822, NGC 7822. There goes the satellite, straight through my image. Uh, just clipped the corner so anyway so you can see there's a lot of dark nebulosity in there so if i zoom in on that that's a nice looking image just had to put the scope out though because it's a nice clear sky tonight and i had a night last night which wasn't quite so clear some clouds came in only got 90 minutes and some of those subs were no good anyway but tonight has been really good i've managed to get at least three hours tonight and this is the last 10 minute sub. As you can see, it's getting quite close to the pier. It's due to do the meridian flip in about 30 minutes, but I'll have the scope switched off by then because this last 10 minute sub is just a few minutes away. And then I shall take the scope indoors, pull the roof back over and be ready for another day. So this is the end of part four. I was hoping to get the tooth trap on the top there, on the flat part of the ceiling, but I'm waiting for a um, piece of steel, a flat bar that I can attach it to, and I'm gonna have to wait another couple of weeks for that to come in. So I thought I'd be getting on with this video, get it out, uh, so that'll all be in the next video. So I hope you like the video, and I really hope somebody's found it useful, uh, maybe inspired somebody to build their own observatory. And if you'd like to follow me to the end of this build, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. It'd be much appreciated. And I hope you like the image at the end. So it just leaves me to say thanks again to everybody for watching. And thanks to all my existing subscribers. And I wish you all clear skies.